Because I'm not? Oh, well, there you go. Uh, breath mask. I swear they're never going to get around to fixing the ventilation system, and if the food processor uh, backs up again, the next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. I'll keep the breath mask here in case we have a repeat incident. Oh, so I could have used that breath mask instead of shutting off the gas with the spike. Interesting. Okay. A lab station. Do I want anything from the lab station? I don't think so. An antidote kit? I have one. I think I'm going to save this for now. Oh. We can make mines and grenades? Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. I think we're good right now, though. Cool. Okay. That's great to know, though. There's so many little improvements in this game over the last one. It's really nice. Tons of little things. Whoa. Get on Guidon Beacon? Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet, so my cash in the lower bunk in my bedroom in the eastern dormitory should be safe. You won't know it's there unless you know to look for it. Nice. Corda came around uh, again asking if I had any special cargo to sell, but I was getting a bad feeling about how he was asking, so I stayed quiet. I'm going to keep that blaster I smuggled from Telos and a few more grenades in there just in case. Only benefit to having a room farthest from the door is that it should be buy me enough time to dump the contraband if security does a surprise inspection. Okay. Cool. I'm using the GOG or Steam version of Kodor. I'm using the GOG version. Yep. GOG version. Um, turbo lift access control. So is this the dorms? Okay, we gotta go back and go there. Oh, there's Corta. This halo looks like it needs to be plugged into a holo reader in order to play back the contents. Damn, dude. A lot of items on those guys. Access camera locks. Almost didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you Merklack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes. A regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they, they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Nar Shada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Korda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity, and then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Korda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon deceased. Oh, damn. Okay. Filthy meat bag. Ooh, query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbo lift codes. In case you managed to get this far. <gasps> Oh my god. Intercode manually. Oh. Anyway, we'll come back. Um wow. By the way, hey crow people, if you're still in here, good vibes to you, my dude. I read your whole message. I'm sorry you're going through that BS. Um take it day by day, man. And uh good vibes to you, buddy. Good vibes to you. 
Also, Studelmeister, 25 months. I don't get an opportunity to watch you with a, uh, much with my new job, but I still steal away when I can to get a hit of co. You could say that I'm a co-junkie. Keep up the great work. Much love to all from our buddy Studelmeister. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, my dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, it's one of these again. I probably need to put a mine, don't I? Yeah. Maybe? Impossible. Skill too low. Okay, we'll wait on that one. Um, can we go in here? Oh, good. Oh, the rudeness. Drive with your plasma torch? Oh, I don't think that works. Yeah, we, we can't bash those open. Those are, those are special because you have to use mines on them. What am I playing? I'm playing a set. Yeah. We're playing a Sentinel, and the next question is, what's your specialty class gonna be? And I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't even, I don't even know what the options are, really. I, I briefly know their names, but I don't know what the point of them is or what makes them special or anything like that. I'm going to kind of wait and learn that throughout the playthrough. Thanks, Ko. I had to go download Coder now. Yeah, take that. <laughs> all right, we're all set. I thought this was going to be a force main. Yeah, I, I didn't do strength. I My, my stat spread is... Uh, very weighted towards force powers. So I am planning on I'm planning on using force powers more extensively. We're going to have 16 int. I'm probably going to put some more points in dex cuz we have finesse and then I think we'll do some wisdom or some charisma or something. This is going to be a, a heavy force power playthrough. Yeah. I just don't know exactly how we're going to do it yet. We'll see. Oh my. Nice. Gas of Loco. Good for now, man. Good for now. You want a power, power-focused run, so the Force Prestige class would fit you great. The Sentinel one is lackluster. Yeah, but we'll see when we get to it. We'll see when we get to it. I may take the Force Prestige class. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I really don't know yet. I heard it, I heard it's kind of far through the game, so... I'm not really stressing it right now. Hollow log looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader. Okay, that's two of these I have now. Huh. Wait, I can't open that? Oh, come on. Rude. Oh, man. You know what? Maybe I can make some non-deadly mines that will be less of a chance to be used on the door, maybe? Hmm. Or less of a requirement, I should say. Would that, is that how that works? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, boy. All right, all right. Nice, nice. Now, wait, was this the one with the hidden compartment? I don't think so. I think that's the other door. Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a good day so far. Well, hi, Miss Daya. Hope you're having a good day, too, my dude. Search for logged hollow display entries. None. Insert mine administrator hollow, hollow log. This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No, Girl! The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. The 
This may be the beginning of just finish help. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo Wow, lift. yeah, Wind okay. So we got the first three arrives. numbers. Three, seventeen, and thirteen. No. Man, girl, you ruined everything. Okay, here we go. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could but no, he's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's last two numbers. Yes. Yeah. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I have a catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a at least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the hey. What's happening to the ventilation system? This Dunk. Oh. Whoops. Bye, everybody. Uh, insert minor hollow. The code encryption for zero spikes. So I'm talking about, man. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi, about selling him to the exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on him, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks and ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone who works this system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comm link. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer grow some horns? Interesting. Okay. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13. Then the next two numbers are... Looks like the dot equals one and the dash equals 10 and X is five. So five and seven? The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13. Then the next two numbers are... Cool. Okay, great. Well, we got that then. Fantastic. Oh, do it live. Save, but we're going in. Bam! Love it. Okay, I think this is the place that should have the secret compartment in it or whatever. An ion cell. I what that does. Okay. Oh, really? Hmm. Dock officer, of course. Okay, we're going to have to look at that. Graceful with the two months. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate that, man. Yeah, we're gonna try building some of the minor mines, I think. Oh. Oh my. Wait, what is that? Refresher? Okay, we'll check both of those. This is one we have to blow up. What's this? No, we got this one. Sonic nullifiers. Ten versus Sonic. Okay, I'll keep what we got. Oh, it's broken. Okay. So before we do this, let's go back to this. There was a workbench over here, right? Where, where was it? 
want to say it was in here. Let's go see if we can build some minor mines and see if those would actually work. Plasma torch for the broken doors. Um, I think for the plasma torch, that's only if there's an attack command. I, if there's not a red sword command, I, I don't think we can do it. This might not actually work, but I'm going to try this. Minor frag mine. Takes 50? All right, I'm going to save it before I do this, because if this doesn't work, I don't want to do it. It seems a little, a little, a lot. Okay. Maybe we can break down items and stuff. Let's try this one first. I think there, were, there was one in this room, right? I think so. Was there? There it is. Oh, I just saved it again. Well, it better work. Okay, good. It did. Great. was a little less than ideal. Um, I, I guess it's not strong enough. Maybe there's like a, hmm. RNG is not on your side. Oh, you think it's an RNG thing? Yeah. Try this one. Use the plasma torch. I can't use the plasma torch. See there's, you have to click on the red one for there to be, I've got the plasma torch out. It's not working. Yeah, I think these are just, they're not doing any damage to the door. It's gonna hurt me. No. Damn, dude, that sucks. I just wasted like all my chemicals making those mines too. Damn. Um, check the feedback log for the DC. The feedback log. Where's the feedback log? Uh, is it here somewhere? Oh, here. Here? Where would I see that? Journal messages. Uh, messages. Oh. I don't think it's in here, my dude. Wait, combat? Um, effects, feedback, oh, co-set mine, roll 20 plus demo nine plus DC 15, blast lock failed, 24 versus DC 26. I got 29 here, but I'm rolling 20s? So... But here's the thing. My demo's 9. Like, I, I don't know if I can still open these. I'm rolling D20s constantly. I'm assuming I can't roll more than 20. The Sonic Mine work? Um... The problem is I don't have enough demo to do the Sonic Mine. Yeah, that's that's the main issue. Huh. The mine strength is zero. Yeah. Hmm. Try setting the mine yourself. The damage roll is different. Yeah, but then if I were to do that, then I would have to trigger the mine somehow, right? Well, let's, I mean, hell, let's try it. Okay. Okay. 
Set mine 29, demo versus DC 15. So it looks like it didn't actually roll, it didn't actually go to the door. Did, that didn't actually translate to the door. Yeah. Bummer. Okay. So I'm, I wonder if there was a different mine that was stronger that we could we could get a bonus from. I'm sure the deadly mine would. Um, you need demo of 10 to set de deadly mines. Oh, okay. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. Hmm. Turn the difficulty down and do it? I could. I could. I'd like to. I'd, I'm wondering if there's any way we can avoid that. How long until level? Oh, far. Far, far, far. Uh, play Cortez Hololog. We already saw that one. Play, which is the one we haven't done yet? Doc Officer? Wait, let's, let's just look at them all. This may be the beginning of a long record. Just finished helping the Doc Officer set up the transmission. The transmission gives the code to- Sir! Okay, that's this one. Oh, Foreman? Oh, here we go. My name is Treto, so we're back to Drun. In two days since the broken Jedi came to the facility, work efficiency is down. Flight to the to take the Jedi and split that many credits. I want nothing to do with the exchange or like the big violent family. My mind is better than letting a Jedi go wherever Jedi wants to go. Okay. Talk with Court of Failure. I had a careful inoffensive talk with Korda. My words had my sense, but Korda got all angry in human face. They said the facility is going to fall apart anyway. They're going to smuggle the Jedi off the Paragas. Why do they do this? I'm thinking of repeating this to the administration officer. Let's take action. I heard last talk from Korda and maintenance officer. Maintenance officer said he had big plans for the disabling station, so he was trapped here. I'm still afraid of Korda, who is big and loud and unreasonable. So I went to the maintenance officer, who is smaller, more sensible, more celestine. The maintenance officer cracked an eyebrow hair at me, pretend not to know what I was talking about, saying not speak to Korda at all, what human lie. Oh. Your ears always were too big, CN. Come on, if the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are gonna be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. What a dick. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Uh, Saucy with a $10 tip. I absolutely will be playing that. Yes, I will definitely be doing Sam's Story, the, uh, the DLC for Metro Exodus. I don't know when, probably on release. But yeah, I, I definitely will be playing it. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Hmm, stress transmission. Managed to use the holo transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. The messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, hmm. who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Ha 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 ha, coast air. Um, okay. The transmission gives the code. We're good. So I think we're done here for now. We could, we could, we have one deadly mine. 
So what we'll do is let's just, we'll check this before we go just to see what it is. What's this one? I just want to make sure we're not missing anything too big. A battle stimulant? That's it? Okay. That would have been a gigantic waste. Zilar says, I am never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. I'm never going to run around and desert you. Oh. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and hurt you. That was very nice of you, buddy. I thank you for that poem. That was that was super... Uh, I don't think I've heard that before. Very original. And uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very nice. Yeah. Koyu just got Rickrolled. Oh, did I just get Rickrolled? Or did you? Okay. Ah, here's the hidden compartment. Okay, that's some pretty good stuff. But it's not not enough to sacrifice my difficulty boner. Okay. There we go. We're going with us. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Natalie Smith says, oh, come on! <laughs> okay. Uh, now we are going to the lift. This way? Yeah. Code was 317-1357. Oh. Wait, what? Enter the code in reverse. Because that's the first thing I was going to do. I'm glad my, my character has high int, so I don't have to. Okay. Great. Hmm. Probably said that in the logs. All right. Oh, what's up, girl? Is that my robes? I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Oh, that's right. HK said he reversed the code. That's right. That's right. Enemy? The one that fired upon the Ebon Hawk as we attempted to rescue him. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. Who is this enemy? The story is a long one, and time is short. Come, we must go and... Co old, by the way. All right, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Ooh, Kreia has joined your party. When she's in your active party, her mentor special ability gives everyone a bonus to earned XP. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Um. What what should I what should I grow with her? You think? Wisdom? Is she a caster? She's she's a she's a mage. Okay, let's get her wisdom up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, force. Okay, I'll just I'll just go ahead and level up her stuff. Oh, I should I should level up her. Uh, yeah, screw stealth, man. Let's do that. Let's get her, like, let's start getting her repair up. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Powers. Special powers. Let's get her some buffs. Horse aura. Ooh. Oh, wait, is she dark side? What is she? Yo, hold up. Wait. No, I can't get heals yet. I can't get heals. Oh, there's a, there's a master heal this time. She's a gray Jedi. Oh, so I can get her lightning. I can get her lightning. Oh my god! I'm gonna I'm gonna make her like. I'm gonna get her all the things. Okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna keep her gray. She's not a gray Jedi. I'm so confused. Okay, don't you know what? Don't tell me. I feel like I feel like we're getting into spoiler territory. So here, here, let's do this. Let's do this. Without any spoilers, if I'm doing a light side run, don't spoil it. Don't tell me why. But if I'm doing a light side run, should I get dark side powers on her? Yes, it's okay. You're doing a light side run and you can get dark side powers. No, do not get dark side powers on her. Yes, it's okay. Okay, great. So I wanted to make sure. That's it. Don't tell me anything else. Thank you, chat. It's kind of like uh, the dude from the last game. Our, our, um, the, the, the badass old bro. What was his name? It was like him, right? Yeah, yeah. Jolie. There we go. Yeah, that dude was a badass. Love that dude. Okay, uh, more repair. I want your I want your repair as high as I can go, really. Yeah. Uh, more more special powers. Um Oh god, she's got so many good options. Let's get uh let's get her some buffs. She's gonna be my buff buffer for now. I'll probably take over buffing later, but actually you know what? I am gonna take over buffing later, so let's let's keep that in mind. Um what is wound? Let's do wound. Actually maybe Maybe dark, uh, force screen. Make her the buffer. I think our character is going to be the buffer because we're going light side caster. So I think most of our stuff is going to be. Actually, let's get her stasis. I'm going to want to get stasis on her regardless. So let's let's start working towards that. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be good. That'll be good. Great. Her buffs apply to you too. Oh yeah, my buffs will apply to her. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Do you see? have a? You don't have a weapon. Heal in here, but I don't think I need to. Just one last check before we go. Oh, she has a special feat where her buffs also apply to you. Wait, where do I look at this stuff? You and Kray have a special bond. Most beneficial force powers used on one of you automatically affects the other. For example, if Kraya activates force resistance, then you will also receive its benefits. There's Mentor. Okay. Finesse. Class skill Stealth. Okay. Sensitive dueling force force. Okay, cool. Give her some gear. Do we have any gear for her? Uh, audio regulator. There's some shields. A wisdom plus one. That's not bad. Add on. Reflex package. And what is this? I, I should make another sword for her, maybe. It's better than nothing, right? Okay. Jedi behavior will attack any enemies they see, but will also use supporting Jedi powers to heal and augment their companions. Great. Let's do that. Hey, dude. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Oh my. It'll take too long to explain. We gotta leave now. And Tom, there's no time to explain. Grab a weapon and follow me. Uh, all right. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, 
That warship's the only way off this station. Hmm. Enters joined your party. As long as he isn't the last party member standing, he can't be knocked out. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. What do you mean? Clarification. Master, your well-being is of the highest importance to me. I was forced to intercede hey, bro, here on Paragus to ensure your survival. Are you the one who killed all the miners in the medical bay? Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners. Then a series of flawlessly typed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, where I was able to gas them all at once wow! without wasting time hunting them through the You did murder tunnels. everybody! I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. So you ordered the mining droids to kill me? Answer? You misunderstand me, Master. Those droids were there to guard you. As I said, I did not anticipate you awakening from the tank. You are quite a hardy specimen for a Jedi. A ronto among humans, if you will indulge me the metaphor. Besides, as you proved, Master, such droids could never pose a threat to a Jedi. The droids were custodial in nature, cleaning the facility of other distractions. Wow. What did you, why did you want to capture me? Answer. It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. Who is this client of yours? Chiding answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. However, I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. You found me. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Admission. It was a matter of chance, Master. I happened to be serving as a protocol droid on the Harbinger when you booked passage. After that, it was a simple matter to sabotage the Harbinger and call for so a... So this guy's the root of all of our problems. Statement. However, when the Ebon Hawk appeared and salvaged us from the wreckage, I was forced into a series of hmm. rapid recalculations, culminating in our current situation. Okay. So what, now you're going to kill me? Answer. No, Master. Killing you was never the intention. If you resist my attempts to return you to your Kalto tank, however, I may inadvertently fracture your skeleton in several places to incapacitate you. Okay. Well, I don't want to fight you, but I guess you don't leave me any other choice. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Oh my. Um. Yes. Say the word. Died, Co. Oh, he did. Rude. I hear you. We 
you're out. Go in. You're not, though. What is it? Girl, what are you doing? Why aren't you... What is it? Well, that was weird. I queued up a bunch of commands, but... We'll do it. Oh, wait, can I level you and get your health back up? Uh... Dex? Ah, there we go. Oh, I can level up again? Well, let me save that. I hear you. Everyone down! Okay. Not work out as planned. <laughs> Did you just heal to full? My dude! Um... Oh, this is trouble. Okay. Yeah, you just need to hit him, dude. Right now we're gonna heal with him again. Dude, you're you're not so great with this blaster, are you? <laughs> Okay, let's heal him to full with a level. Demo awareness, security, demo demo. So he'll, he'll be our demo bro for now. Beats, sneak attack three. Um, let's get the next sniper thing. Sure, let's do that. So we're gonna be using this here. Okay, nice, nice. Oh my lord, dude, come on. Um, what is my thing on? Aggressive? Yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna leave it on. Yeah, take that big three, my man. I hear you. 21! Good god, my dude. How are you shooting the ground? Where that came from? Ah, there we go! We good! We good! All right. Save. 